I started selling records out of my parents' basement in 1974 after I came back from Texas. I was selling them out of there for until 1979, and then I opened my first store in 79. So this was taken in 1981 at my very first store down on Aurora when I was still young. I've been selling records two, almost two-thirds of my life. This is what I know how to do, okay? I don't know what else I'd be able to do. I've got half a million records, half a million items in the store. To make the place more manageable, we spent thousands of hours organizing the records. The 50s goes over to here to where it ends, okay. Probably about 30,000. 2,000 soul and funk here, a section of my soul picks. Then this is 60s, 70s, this shelf, this shelf, this shelf. Female vocals, male vocals, 15,000 classical and opera, 15,000 jazz in the jazz room. Metal electronic, and then a section that I call sort of new alt arrivals. Then you have soundtracks, world music, gospel, spoken word, comedy, bluegrass, folk, and country. Up in the mezzanine, there's over 100,045. There's a section there of about 1,500 blues albums, again with a section of my blues picks. It's an addictive type of thing. Once you start collecting records, it's hard to stop. But I, but I like to say, well, at least this is one addiction where you'll still have your records tomorrow. <music> There's such a demand for vinyl right now. I've never sold more records in my life. I love buying and selling records. I love talking to customers. I love turning people on to stuff that I think is good. I like learning stuff from, from people who come in, you know. So there, cut.